December 20th, 1968, somewhere over Vietnam. Major Forrest Fenn is flying an F-100 over hostile territory with a mission to take out enemy truck routes and supply locations. During his flight, his aircraft sustains numerous hits, leading to a shattered canopy and facial lacerations. While he does have the option to eject, Fenn decides against it, electing instead to remain in the area and mark hostile gun positions with cannon fire. And it was for these actions that he was awarded the Silver Star. Fenn would also go on to twice receive the Distinguished Flying Cross for his flying in Vietnam. After serving 20 years in the Air Force, Fenn retires and moves to Santa Fe, New Mexico, where he partners with Rex Aerosmith, no, not that Aerosmith, to create the Aerosmith Fenn Gallery, an art gallery that purchases sculptures from struggling artists, then casts them as bronze sculptures. While Fenn had no experience or training whatsoever in art sales, the business thrived, and by the mid-80s, he had a client list that included Steven Spielberg, Steve Martin, Robert Redford, Jackie Onassis, and more. It's estimated he was bringing in about $6 million per year, selling Native American artifacts, expensive paintings, and known forgeries of Modigliani, Monet, and Degas. But then, in 1988, Fenn was diagnosed with cancer. Contemplating his mortality, he came up with a wild idea to fill a chest with gold nuggets, rare coins, jewelry, and gemstones, as well as his autobiography, then hide it somewhere for anyone to find. His ultimate goal was to die near the treasure chest, leaving it and his body behind as his legacy. But then, he didn't die, and decided to hold on to the treasure until 2010, when he finally hid it in this 10 by 10 by 5 inch chest made of bronze. Weighing about 42 pounds, he tossed it in a backpack and carried it into the wild himself. Just where he put it though is the ultimate question. Via books, blog posts, and interviews, Fenn has provided a slew of hints, some in the form of a poem, and others in normal sentences. For example, the treasure is hidden somewhere at least 8.25 miles north of Santa Fe, New Mexico, in either Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, or New Mexico. It's located above 5,000 feet, but below 10,200 feet. It's not in a graveyard, an outhouse, or any man-made structure, and it's not in a mine, tunnel, or cave. I don't have time to list out all of the hints here, but we will provide the link to a blog post with all of them. We'll also post the poem, which apparently tells the location of the treasure using nine veiled clues. This map also apparently shows its location somewhere. But that leaves two important questions. Is the treasure still there? And is it actually real? According to Fenn, who wrote back to me on July 12, 2018, the treasure has still not been located. He has not checked on it since he hid it, but also claims that it's hidden where it can't be harmed by natural elements. All in all, he estimates 350,000 people have searched for it, quote, many of them multiple times. This then begs the second question. With so many hunters and all of them turning up empty, is the treasure actually real? There's a belief, particularly by those who have searched and failed, that the treasure is just symbolic. The real, quote, treasure, they argue, is getting out into nature with your friends and family, which would kind of make sense since Fenn's original goal was to get people off of their couches and to give them hope during the Great Recession. Then again, it's also kind of sad because people have died searching for it. But Fenn stands by its existence. Quote, here's what happens. Someone goes where they think the treasure is hidden. When they can't find it, they think that someone has already found it, or the whole story is a hoax. The funny thing is that they are still out there looking. On the other side, two close friends of Fenn also told NPR in an interview that they saw the treasure before it was hidden, and that he's not the type of person who'd create a hoax. So what do you think? Is it real? And have you gone and searched for it? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to check out the new season of Raider Red's hit series, Craft Brew Review with Alabama Boss, now on our YouTube channel. I'm Christopher Pilney.